gonna be. This is the losing semifinals. And um, Snoofle and Earlvim beat Droshi, um, Banshee and Dro. So we're getting Snoofle, Earlvim versus Comic Kason. Hello. Hi. What is up? Looks like we're getting right into it. Yeah. Uh, Lucina Fox versus Fox DSS. <laughs> um, I guess Lucina and DSS are both furries. So. <laughs> All right, and then uh, I'm out here. We got Wigwag jump back on comps. Wigwag is here. Am I? So Wigwag's joining in. Either way, red team off to a pretty solid advantage. Red team is going to be, um, that'll be Snoopold, Earl of him. Hazen with the CSS. CSS is losing a stock real pretty early compared to red team. Hello, Wigwag. What's going on? Uh, lose the semifinals, that's what's going on. Oh yeah. So, Comet and Kaysen, they took it pretty narrowly, I think, over Spencho, correct? Yeah, well, it was a 3-1. So, not a game five, but it probably, I'm guessing by how just the team comps are working, it was at least a close 3-1, like they were always... Yeah, I was watching it a little bit, and they definitely seemed to be going pretty back and forth, but obviously, Comet and Kaysen, um, some of our strongest players in Wisconsin, and uh, definitely no slouch in teams either. Yeah, and that was a really unfortunate uh, little little downbeat by Kaysen, knock him just in the spot for Lucina to hit. Yeah. So, Earl of Emmett looks so far, just hanging on to his first stock while everybody else has lost one already. Yeah, Lucina does that. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> it's hard to get in on Lucina. Yeah, especially in doubles, too. When like it, it, It's hard to get in on Lucina in general, but like when you have a partner to assist and like make sure that the Lucina isn't getting hit, then it can be pretty hard to take her out. Mm -hmm. These pairs look oh. very good to war roll. There we, there we go, Lucina. Yeah, but also being on the offensive, too, taking that stock and putting Kaysen down to his last, but... Comet answering back pretty quickly and putting Snoofle on his last as well. <laughs> what was that? Dude drops down, double jumps to the platform, and doesn't get punished for it for the like 20 frames of lag he was in. Yeah, I, I don't know. He, he, Comet needed that punish. Or... Yeah, Comet definitely, that was a punish that he needed, but unfortunately just not able to find it that time. Up the out of shield, not going to be doing enough for, um, not enough in that scenario. There goes Lucina's first stock. Yeah, so finally putting a bit of a dent into that uh, sort of wall that's been created uh, in Earl of M. But Common and Kaysen are definitely going to have to find a bit of a stronger answer if they're going to want a chance to take this game. Yeah, I feel like I feel like they're not playing like in double, doubles. A lot of time, there's going to be a zone your character wants to be in. I feel like both of them want to be in the same zone, pretty, pretty close. So I see both of them dash forward, and then one of them just like, oh, uh, this is awkward. Yeah, that's very true, and definitely like when you're in kind of that double situation, like you have to understand like the spacing and make sure you're not getting in each other's face. So, I definitely think like if they kind of can find that spacing more, they could find more success. Yeah. You know, as red team, Lucina, of course, taking the back and covering his partner so well despite the stun. That was perfect spacing just to hit. Yeah, that was CSS. super nice. Oh, landing the back air and rolling out of the way of the shield breaker too. This is a chair stock. Yeah, so. On an edge guard, of course. Yeah, now it seems K Snoofle and Earl of M are finally bleeding. Um, definitely Snoofle with the lower percent, but uh, Fox being the character that he, the fast faller that he is, uh, can Both easily get comboed, can take it off the top. Wow. That's gonna do it. Man, that's the worst feeling. You take you take your partner's stock and you still die at 55% before your partner dies. Yeah, that's that's a rough feeling, and definitely uh, we'll see how that's gonna affect Snoofle going forward. That is, that is one thing when you have two people trying to play aggressive, they're both gonna kind of go off and get kills. Yeah, that's for sure. That's definitely one of the strengths of Comet and Kaysen for sure. Is like while they might be playing like very much like. Um, very aggressive and in your face, like that's going to lead to a lot of damage and a lot of kills, yep. which is what you're going to want to find in this sort of scenario. Mm -hmm. So, I want to see a little more, just a little more aggression, a little more aggression from Zena. Not much, but like instead of center stage, sit at that like quarter mark of the stage when your your partner is doing stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I definitely think that. If that could be done, then uh, it'll be a bit better for Sufo and Earl Van going into this game, too. Blue team, pretty good control here. 
Both players in the air between the two as well. Yeah, definitely finding their space now. Oh, Sufa with the chase down. He's got them both in the corner. Mm -hmm. And now just Ooh, taking I... Comet for a ride with those up tilts. And all Ariel Vim has to do when that happens is just hold the partner away. You don't need a help. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's definitely an important part of uh, doubles, too, is, like, recognizing um, both when you can get a 2v1 situation and also when, like, your partner has a situation handled and you just need to prevent the other person from getting in. Look at this zone. I still, even despite both blue on the stage, Lucina has a much better position bearing them. And now you go back to a kind of neutral position until that back air lands on Fox. Lucina has to recover somehow. No one yeah, it's ability. very Fox. rough. Oh, no! Comet trying for the stage spike and just falling too fast. Fox 101, do not fast fall back air off stage. <laughs> do not do it. You will die. And there goes Comet stock equalizing the stocks. And the percents look as pretty decent as well, considering Lucina's a high zoning character versus Yes takes less risk. Gonna be pretty okay for both teams here. Yeah, that's for sure. But Snoofle already getting a bit of damage tracked onto him. Uh, a bit more than they probably want. And if they're able to convert this to a kill, just missing that LB. Still, ZSS only at 89, unless that was Snoofle on the ground, that would have prop. he's pretty safe. Yeah, snoofle has got to be careful, because he's already looking at kill percent from pretty much any of Fox's options and a lot of ZSS's options as well. Oh, here, what are we going to get here? Down throw into nothing. Oh, Snoofle, not quite able to land that second up air. Blue team at a massive disadvantage Ooh, here. Oh, they just, pong. yeah, they just kind of juggled. They got Comet out of the juggle and then put Kaysen into the juggle and then it led to that kill. That is like a perfect double scenario. You just hit both of them, one gets out, the other dies. Yeah. But the comeback from blue teams. Yeah, Comet able to read that air dodge from Snoofle and land that back air. So yeah, definitely not out of it yet because Snoofle is at the, st there are at the stock deficit the red team is. Uh, but we'll see. It. Oh, I really like that shine. Because Lucina's so good at like hitting someone off stage, especially with upbeat back air, making it back. The shine delay just threw off the jump timing ever yeah. so slightly. Yeah, that was definitely very smart by Comet, knowing that Earl Vem was looking for that edge guard and trying to me and messing up the timing succeeded. So blue team still has pretty decent control. Hits the partner though. Kason gonna get away with it. Yeah, definitely. I think the red team just kind of needs to find their footing a little bit. Yeah, they haven't had a good, like, a strong position unless that was that ping pong. They finally get Comet stock off. They get oh! Lucina lives just barely. It was looking real rough. There's the up smash on Kaysen. Yeah, so now they, they have the lead in the stocks, but not in the percentage whatsoever. So both Snoofle and Earl are both going to have to play pretty carefully if they want to avoid uh, dying soon from either Comet or Kaysen. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, getting the down smash and F smash, and that'll be Snoofle's last stock gone, forced to take, and now Earl is in a pretty precocious position. Got to be careful to make sure not to uh, die off of something <gasps> that... Oh, yeah. I like it. I like it. He lives, too, so not even the bad oh, parts of it. The edge guard situation. Yo, that was perfect. That's he... exactly what Earl needed. Like, the counter... That was, it was so unfortunate that counter didn't, the back air did not kill there. If it did, that would have been a completely different scenario. Yeah, it would have been a lot better for the blue team here. But unfortunately, able to live that back air, unfortunately for Comet, fortunately for Earl, able to find the edge guard situation. And now they're forcing this 2v1. I don't like that up throw. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. I was thinking like F throw into something for Snoofle to do. But yeah, like they've done it before. <laughs> yeah, they weren't in a 2v1. <laughs> Maybe just wanted the positioning. But either way, got Kaysen stuck in this corner. Yeah. Oh, able to attack Snoofle out. Oh, ooh, nothing. They're a little scared from killing each other there. Almost dying from the up tilt. Looking pretty close. Like, this is super kind of scary because ZSS, ZSS can play safe really well. And you don't want, like, ZSS can kill either of them fairly ooh, easily. Wow. with the F smash. Just a little hit. ZSS has the potential. She has the neutral. She has the back air for this position right now, but the oh, up air on that yeah. double jump. But yeah, definitely as you were saying, like ZSS definitely has the tools to just kind of be able to just move around and like keep like throwing out those back airs. So it's making both Snoofle and Earl kind of afraid to approach because if they get caught by that back air, they very well could be dead. Yeah. 
So definitely a uh, good play uh, there, but we're going to see uh, how these teams readjust going into this game three. Uh, so we have 1-1 one, one on the board, uh, both of them doing a pretty good job. Um, but like you said, I think it's going to come down to both of them like kind of finding their zone and making sure they can stay in that and keep the kind of stage control that they want to. Mm -hmm. I find it funny that there's two foxes on the field, and the foxes are really the ones that kind of... Of the characters, they're the ones that have to commit a bit more than Lucina and ZSS for their basic, like, neutral neutral bread and butters, especially in doubles, considering there's a partner there. Yeah, definitely. They, they are both the characters that are getting, like, edge guarded off stage, but they're also the ones doing a lot of the damage in these, both of these teams. Oh, yeah. Meanwhile, so we're all on this left side. Wispy's like, where are you guys going? Come on. I'm just going to blow at you a little bit if you're all hanging out here. All right. There's there's the ping pong, but oh, not too much. Uh, yeah, trying to extend the combo with the up smash. Good DI by like all parties there. No one got up air, up tilted at some point. Yeah. <laughs> despite all four members being on that top platform. Yeah, that was definitely a pretty scary position for pretty much everybody, but... Jab, up smash, oh, the back air! Good. That's going to take Comet stock, unfortunately. Yeah, this is it's pretty par for the course, but it's pretty rough that it was the case in taking that set. Could have lasted a little longer, not back air, but... Yeah. Oh, air dodge, up air. But now, just, yeah, even in up the stock count real quick. And again, we've kind of seen it in the same uh, situation where Kaysen does have a bit of the percent lead. Um, so he can just kind of uh, play around that and like kind of let the Foxes do their thing as he deals with Earl. And like percent lead or not, Lucina's probably going to live longer. Just do the hitboxes, but ZSS oh with the rage. Oh my god. Yeah, that's definitely what that team was looking for. Yeah, partners on the ledge. <laughs> that's funny. I have a free reign on a Fox. <laughs> Pretty much. And now, despite Red Team having control, they are at a big deficit here. Yeah, they're going to have to play pretty carefully if they want a chance of taking this game. Not going to air dodge there. Kaysen's played a few few too many Foxes, but no <laughs> invincibility on the ledge grab, so he goes for a down B instead. Ooh, no punish on the side B other than an air. I guess CSS kind of needs the jump to really get much. Yeah. Oh, and getting the kill with the side B. Let me get those. <laughs> oh, great back air. Yeah, Kaysen kind of wanting to be like, hey, I'm going to combo. I want to down B this, but like too much time. Back air's a partner. Yeah. Now, red team still, though, despite getting some turnarounds, if the Fox... If K K Comet's not upstage, so he's fine. Yeah. Now, wow. <laughs> That, yeah. No fear. <laughs> no fear. And that's kind of what Comet is known for, just in general. Like, he definitely goes for the ballsy stuff more often than not. It wasn't even a nair. It's not, up air isn't that fast. That wasn't yeah. even up snare. <laughs> that was the most cloud up air. But it worked. It did. There we go, connecting a dash attack in the up air to take Earl stock. Yeah, and that Snoofle sitting at 109%. Not going to like his position here. Yeah, especially against both such strong characters uh, that can kill him in the both ZSS and Fox. Yeah. It's going to have to be very careful. That's worth for Snoofle because like with your partner playing a lot more safe, the other team can just combo you. Ooh. But still, there goes the stock. 2v1 time with three stocks to go to. Yeah, we'll see if Earl is able to make something happen. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I don't need a help. I just need to deal damage. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's good percentage and I mean, like if kaysen has got the situation then might as well. the corner. Yeah. Oh, mm. just missing that. DI down down and away to avoid yeah, the up air. Kaysen pressuring Earl, making sure that Comet is not going to be uh, getting edge guarded whatsoever. Earl's really fighting this out, and I like the way... Oh! Ooh, oh, but that... Oh, yeah, he jumped into the blast zone. I actually... So, at the edge there, I really liked how Comet's playing that. He was reversing what side he was facing and then shielding every so often, just to mix up, like, what am I going to do? Am I going to back air here? If you roll, I can get a grab here. But then he's facing him, like, okay, I can dash attack, I can get F-tilt. Like, he's just mixing that timing up, made him, made him kind of get antsy. Yeah, I definitely agree, because, like, 
if you if you're in that situation and like you have no idea what your opponent might be doing with like trying to watch them as closely as possible like that can definitely be uh, very scary for someone and that's uh part of why uh, earl fell there mm -hmm. now team wisconsin one game away from making a loser's finals to maybe maybe fight back chicago <laughs> Yes, yeah, so we'll see. They've got a Chicago gauntlet coming up if they're able to take this game. <laughs> Both guys just start with jab. They're just like, mine's two frames, yours two frames. Respect. Yeah. Check out these jabs. Nice. Oh, but already with a good team combo coming out from Snoofle and Earl. Could have still been going, but just a little, little bit of hesitance. Wow, these two. They are in complete control right now. Yeah, definitely. Smash not gonna hit, but that probably would have been a stock, all things considered. That's oh, a shield the break. Shield break. And oh, they could have gone for the two v one, but they just take the stock. Yeah, that's probably the the better idea, because especially since Comet was so close to the edge like that, and yeah. like re prime kill percent, like it's good to get the stock lead. Yeah, just take it. If it was like zero, just go for the two v one. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow. back airing him out of the down B. Oh, red team. Red team's changed a few things up here. Yeah, that's for sure. Like, I think before they were, they were, ooh. Ooh, that's rough. Uh, like before they were, they were getting a lot of hits together this game versus like they'll get two, three hits. They were getting like five, six in a row. Yeah, definitely. Oh, oh my God. That did it. Yo, taste your own footstool. Wow. <laughs> All right. And we definitely see, I have uh, saw Earl before, like he was being a bit cheeky with those footstools, but. Never in like such a strong situation like that. That was incredible. All right, if that fox didn't die there, I'd be surprised. <laughs> with that, with that spike there, they have evened out the stocks. Yeah, the so percents. not looking as bad as it was at the start of this match, but oh, definitely. You fell oh into that? no! That was meant for fox, my guy. That was not meant for you, and you still fell into that. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> like, what is Lucina doing? <laughs> I was just, just that falcon. Falcon is not a show sword for show. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> just kind of like, if you're going to fall in, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, might, might as well. Will. Slay dragons with that thing. <laughs> yeah, slaying dragons, slaying foxes. Same thing. <laughs> Let's be real. Uh, there, There's some uh, furry things that, that appeal to both. Oh, yeah. Some... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, hopping back into this. Yeah, they're definitely... Oh, there that's go, rough. There it yeah. goes. And now Kaysen... Stuck in a pretty bad 2v1 scenario. Yeah, th this is two stocks on the Lucina. Uh, that's not what you want. Oh, yeah. If anything, you want the two stocks on Fox. Yeah, that's for sure. But it doesn't matter too much either way. We're going to be heading to a game five. So I'm here in Lilat or Smashville. You guys want to go back to Dream Line? No. Fuck the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Right. Um, I don't think they're going to Dreamland. Yeah, probably not. Um, but yeah, I could see Smashville could be a decent pick. Um, I don't know if Town is on the table at all. They might want to go there. Um, I imagine Town is actually banned. Yeah, we'll see. Imagine it being FD and Town being banned. That makes sense. But we're going to head back to Smashville. So on this game five... We'll see what Common and Kaysen is able to do. See if they're going to take it against their first of Ooh. many Chicago opponents. I love the delay on the side B right there. That was great. He was gonna be. He was like, "Let me delay this to help my partner. Let's get a little more damage." Versus both of us just hitting them. And oh yeah. Them oh yeah. Now look at this. We're about even. The position's great for blue team right now. Oh the yeah. Save. In, yeah. That was a really good interrupt because Earl then most likely would have been dead if Kaysen was able to finish that combo. Really hard to get get Lucina off stage. Yeah. He's delayed that so long <laughs> that his partner is getting hit up on the other stage, but doesn't last too long. The disadvantage state at least. Yeah. Lucina wasn't the greatest DI. Uh, there goes able Kaysen. to find a way back though. Yeah, Kaysen dying. Ground shield so strong. I like how it's doing that now. I agree. I agree. Oh, he's gonna up smash. Oh, good tech. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you, you're not getting that, but you yeah, will but get Yeah, but he's going to get that off of the uh, missing the side B. 
That, thing, that move is so much lag when you drop it, but it's so you have there's so much like that to do on the other side B. Almost catching it with the up air off the ledge. But Snoofle just barely hanging on, but he's not gonna live to that up smash. And now Kaysen and Comet with a bit of a lead. Let's see if they're able to take it and extend it any further than they have. But Ooh. Snoofle's not gonna let him. Just getting that up air right away. A little shield dance by Case in there. Just oh a yeah. Bit. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about the down angle, down B, side B there. Still, blue team just gets back to stage, has a bit of control. Getting up tilts on Fox is always a good thing. Yeah, that's for sure. That was as well as up airs. Yeah, Comet just got Snoofle in a good position there. Not quite killing with the up smash, but. No tech, but another another miss tech into up smash probably will do it. Yeah. On Ooh. Ooh, there goes Case and Stock. This suddenly is not looking so good for Blue Team. Oh, he's trying for the Trump, but no. Okay. <laughs> just, just why? Why not? Oh no, this is bad. Oh yeah. Okay. Able to make it back, but he still got him on the Smashville platform. I love what Aerolovim was going for with the Fair Shield Breaker, but unfortunately it doesn't work out for them. Yeah, not quite. Lucina still oh. is the one. You want the two socks. Yeah, sneaking back with the side B. Blue team. Comet playing real safe. He knows the position they're in. Oh, just sneaking by with that back air. But look at this position for red team. Fox makes it back. 89%. Yeah, but Earl's starting to rack up damage on Comet. Yeah, that's his job right now. Just get as much damage in. Lucina can't hold this stock. Oh, no. <gasps> he ran into it. That was oh. going to be a dead Lucina. Oh. Blue team doing worse and worse as this goes on. Yeah, they just might be, like, it's that game five scenario. The nerves just might be getting to them. They want this really badly. Ran into and the they're able to get that stock on Snoofle. Like, he, he really needs to get his dash shields in if he wants to punish Lucina for those those down-angled uh, dancing plates. Yeah, that's for sure. But it might not matter too much for the uh -oh. rest of this match if they're able to get a kill. Just no. missing the up smash! He could have F smashed. Look at the rage he would have killed across that stage. Oh, though this Trump, is so tense. The back air! It is all up to Soul Fox to yes. fight this. We'll see if Snoofle is able to defend Chicago <gasps> against... It. He got the back air! Oh, not Soul the versus Kaysen! Just missing the punish on the grab! Okay. Oh! I don't even think up air would lead to much else. Get the laser in for good measure. Oh, the Nair knocking him far away enough so he doesn't get in the tech scenario. Yeah, strong hit, not gonna do the combo. He needs that weak hit. Oh, the oh. read on the dash. Doesn't that was get so the scary! Yeah, side being high to avoid that down smash. Oh, just missing the F smash! There's the back air! Back air looks so stale. Got him in the offstage situation! Nice, but the Trump! Oh, almost got the Trump! Okay, he's gonna jump from ledge. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I got these reads. Oh, and Snoofle just throwing out these aerials! But Kaysen answering back with that back air of his own. He keeps he keeps expecting Fox to jump from the ledge, or ZSS to jump, because that's kind of how she's gonna get a lot of her runs from ledge. But Kaysen wisely just stays on the ground, waits, because he knows he's going for that up air. Now yeah, Kaysen, both of them just kind of getting straight hits, but they're both looking for it. that strong hit, and Snoofle finds it! Two frames with a back.